Hi, my name is Hannah Goodman from Grounded Life and I work with the breath. I work with breath awareness, uh, conscious breath work, with massage, with yoga, all to help support people in becoming more conscious and employing healthier breathing habits. Doing this has a huge impact on physical, emotional, mental and respiratory health. So today I would love to share a breath pattern with you that helps to regulate your nervous system, it helps support your immune system, and most importantly, it really supports and helps to improve lung health and lung function. And all these things are really important when dealing with the COVID-19 illness. So let's dive straight in. All you need for this practice are your lungs and your focus and also your commitment. Your commitment to do this more than once. Your commitment to do this every day if you want to see benefits from doing the practice. Make sure you are in a seated position before we start and if you need support getting there then please ask for it. You want to sit comfortably and we're going to be here for about eight minutes or so. The reason it's important to come to a seated position and not do this practice lying on your back is because when we lie on our back, we actually cut off uh, more of our airways than expanding them, which is the intention of this practice. And that's because our lungs are kind of predominantly here on our back body. So we want to be able to sit up in order to breathe more fully into our lungs. Now the good news is, is that this practice is so easy to do. Uh, in fact, many breath awareness practices are. The challenge comes is just keeping, when you need to just keep your focus on your breathing and really feeling the intricacies of the breath, staying focused with the breath because we are all masters of destruction. But that's why I'm here. I'm here to guide you through it and to just keep reminding you to bring that focus back to your breathing as well. So before we start, I'm gonna invite you to take a breath hold with me. Now, everything we do in this practice is meant to be in a, in a gentle, consistent manner. So it's not about taking the biggest breath you can breathe. It's not about, you know, uh, striving or huffing or puffing. It's really not about creating discomfort at all, but being steady and gentle uh, with your breath. So you're going to see better results the more that you do it. Uh, it's about the importance of this breath pattern is about the more you do it, not about how hard you try um, when you're doing it, because actually we want to breathe uh, in a manner that is comfortable for you. So for the breath hold, we are simply going to breathe in through the nose as you naturally do, breathe out of the nose so you naturally do, and breathe in and then hold the breath. So you hold your breath when you get to the top of your breath. We're not breathing in as much as we can possibly breathe in holding our breath, no. We're just simply breathing in and holding, okay? So in your own time, when you're ready, take your breath hold. When you get to the top of your breath, you hold. And then start counting the seconds slowly in your head of your breath hold. So you just count one, two, okay? Now this is just a comfortable hold. So when you feel that urge to breathe, when you feel the desire to breathe, then you breathe. And take a couple of breaths in and out through the nose at your natural pace after you have let go of the hold. If you are still holding your breath, then allow yourself to breathe. And again, join us in taking a couple of breaths in and out through the nose at your natural pace. Remember, it's not a competition about how long you can hold your breath 
for because actually what we're doing here is measuring our, our air hunger and through measuring our air hunger you actually get more of an idea of your your lung health so you can count how many seconds you're able to comfortably hold it now before getting that air hunger and then count how many seconds in a month's time that you're comfortably able to hold your breath um, and it should be different if you've been doing this practice every day. So if you were able to hold your breath then comfortably for 25 seconds or above, this is really good. Uh, 40 seconds is optimal, but don't worry if you've not been able to get to 25 seconds because this practice is going to support that. Now for the breathing technique itself, we are going to place the palms of our hands to the sides of our torso. And what you really need to find is those lower ribs, those floating ribs, okay? So then we're not in the front here, we're actually more to round the side as well make sure you're comfortable this is where your lungs meet your abdomen so your bottom of your lungs are actually around here and if you breathe in and out you should feel some movement under your hands just focus on where your hands are and breathe into your hands okay so it really goes it, it really goes out and in sort of laterally more than this um, what, how we normally think of breathing which is kind of it out and in here so we've got our hands here we're going to breathe gently we're going to breathe slowly and we're going to breathe deeply more deeply than maybe you are used to so if you're naturally an upper chest breather a shallow breather then the the main nugget of this breath pattern is to allow your breath to come deeper into the bottom of your lungs so we're inviting the breath down to the lower part of the lungs for this practice we're going to inhale through the nose for four counts and we're going to exhale through the nose for six counts and I'm going to count with you now if the breathing doesn't quite match my counts don't worry you count yourself go again what, what is in your um, capacity to breathe if, if you feel like a discomfort or a, or a um, lightheadedness or a, yeah a discomfort in my counting you count for yourself and you count six yourself so I'm just being here as a guide for you but really you're, you're your own breath teacher, so employ that. Okay, so when you breathe in, we should feel the ribs moving out a little bit and then expanding with the, with the inhale as the breath comes in and then the exhale, they're gonna soften and go in a bit. Remember, we're breathing uh, gently. This is not about over breathing or I'm not trying to do that. We're staying within your natural breathing, but you're just inviting it deeper into the body and we're slow, probably slowing it down um, as well by, take, by counting the counts, okay? So, we, so before we start, I'll just say again to remind you, we want to stay away from breathing fast and shallowly, especially if you have already symptoms of breathlessness, because breathing fast and shallowly, all it does is support your breathlessness and the breathlessness supports the short and shallow breathing. And it's this continual, continual loop that does in no way serve your, your best health's interest. So we need to intercept that loop with this conscious breath where we say, no, I'm going to direct my breath and consciously make it slower, deeper and more gentle. Okay, are we ready? Let's begin. So inhaling gently for one, two, three, four. Exhaling for one, two, three, four, five, six. Inhaling, two, three, four. Exhaling, two, three, four, five, six. Inhaling, two, three, four. Exhaling, two, three, four, five, six. Inhaling, you're doing great. Two, three, four. Exhaling, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, 
So keep going, just keep going with that intention to keep feeling the movement of the body under the hands. So breathing into the hands. I'm going to invite you to do another hold. And this time we're going to, so don't stop breathing while I'm talking, just keep going. And I'm gonna invite you to do the breath hold after the exhale rather before we did it after the inhale and now we're going to do it after the exhale so taking in your next inhale that's natural and when your exhale comes let let it out don't push anything just let the air out hold and hold your nose and we're just going to count for five four three two one and then breathe and we're just going to take a couple of breaths just natural, natural breaths to just relax. Come back to your usual breathing pattern. Now let's repeat this whole thing. So placing our hands back where they were, finding our comfortable position, and we're gently gonna inhale through the nose, taking the breath deeper into the lungs. Four, one, two, three, four. Exhaling softly, two, three, four, five, six, inhaling, two, three, four, exhaling, two, three, four, five, six, keep going, keep going, count yourself in and just feel that inhale, just really notice, take your attention and feel the breath moving the body under the hands and slowly coming down. Great, we're just gonna do it two more times. Inhaling. Exhaling. Stay with your rhythm. Relax the shoulders, relax the face, relax the jaw. Let's do it one more time. Because after your next exhale, gently exhale naturally and then hold the breath. Ready? Pinch the nose and we just hold it after we've exhaled for five, four, three, two, one. And then we breathe softly, keep it gentle. Just breathe a couple of times, take about five, 10 breaths, just naturally in your natural pace, okay? So we don't wanna overhold here, we're not overholding the breath. Let's do this again, and we're gonna bring our hands to the sides, feel the ribs, and relax the shoulders, and gently breathe in for one, two, three, four. Exhaling for two, three, four, five, Six, inhaling, two, three, four, exhaling, two, three, four, five, six, inhaling, two, three, four, exhaling, two, three, four, five, six, inhaling, so inhale, keep going, keep going, find your natural rhythm. Just making sure that you can feel, you're inviting the air, your breath in and down, and you can feel the body move with the breath, with the inhale and with the exhale. As we come softening with the exhale, really soften the body, okay? Soften the jaw. With the inhale, you're feeling the ribs and the bottom of the lungs expand in your hands. Exhale, just stay with your own breath. Just do this two more times. Inhaling for four counts. Exhaling for six counts. You can even close your eyes, trust your own counting. You're doing marvelously. Okay, then when you get to your next inhale, you're gonna inhale and you're gonna gently exhale for six or if it needs to be five or four right now for you, then that's okay. But when you get to the bottom of the exhale, the natural exhale, 
hold the breath. I'm going to pinch the nose and we're just going to hold here for five, four, three, two, one. And then inhale, gently, just be aware that that, that first inhale after the hold is a gentle. Because if you overhold, then that again is going to um, support this breathlessness. If you overhold, then you're going to gasp for air. And again, that's going to um, support the, the shallower breathing. And we just want everything to be really steady and gentle and expansive with this breath. So if you need to hold for four seconds, then do so. If you need to hold for three seconds, then do so. Or if you feel really comfortable to hold for six seconds or seven seconds, then do so. So you really need to um, find your, um, your gauge and what's comfortable for you because uh, it's your practice. This is your practice. Okay, so hopefully as I was talking then, you're just taking a couple of natural, easy breaths to reset. Mm. Great, and we're gonna do this one more time and hopefully you'll feel more comfortable in the rhythm of doing this breath practice because this is gonna be your daily practice. I hope that it is. Okay, let's take the hands. Take the hands there. So breathing through the nose, we're gonna inhale for one, two, three, four, expanding with the breath, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, inhale, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, inhale, Exhale, let the exhale be gentle, soft, smooth, inhale. Notice any discomfort and just soften the body, exhale. Again, I'm gonna hand over to you to find your own rhythm, to count yourself in for that inhale for four. Feeling the ribs move under the hands. That's the important bit, to feel it. And exhale. Because when you do that, you automatically encourage the breath to come deeper, much deeper. Okay, we do one more before our breath hold. And ready, exhaling gently, naturally. And at the bottom of the breath, after you've exhaled, gonna hold the nose. Five, four, three, two, one, and breathe gently. So if you can hear yourself really breathing, like I just heard my, my nose breathing then, you actually want to soften the breath even more, to so try and breathe quietly because that just helps support the gentleness of the breath. And that's what this practice is all about. I just wanted to share with you that breathing in this way produces something called nitric oxide in our navel cavity and in our sinuses. This has antiviral effects. It not only helps to sterilize the air coming into the lungs, but it also helps uh, the lungs to fight inflammation. So it's a really, it's a simple practice, but it's effective. It's really effective. Now, if you cough at any time or felt yourself cough at any time during the practice and it brings up fluid from the lungs, make sure that you have a tissue ready to, to spit that out. Uh, it wants to leave the body, so, so don't try not to swallow it. Thank you so much for breathing with me today. I'm going to create another video with this breathing technique in, but it's simply going to be the breathing technique only uh, without all the, the talking that I've done uh, around this, as this has kind of been the introduction to the breathing technique. So I'm going to create this um, other video so you can simply press play and go straight into the breathing technique, making sure that you're already sat up and you're already ready to breathe. I really want to support you in creating a regular uh, breathing practice that is going to help support uh, the physical, respiratory, emotional and mental health. So thank you again so much for joining me.